Today we're going to share an example of why Cuenca is nicknamed the Athens of Ecuador. But before we get started, and that motorcycle rides off, <laughs> we've been living abroad in Ecuador for over two years now and we understand it could be overwhelming and a little scary to move to another country. If you are thinking of moving abroad or if you just want to follow along with our crazy adventures, please take a moment and subscribe and ring that bell. You'll get notified on all of our upcoming videos. We're here at this art gallery today because our unconventional producers, Michael and Melissa from Longmont, Colorado. Hola guys. Hola. They asked us to feature an art gallery and some more of Cuenca's art and culture in video. So that's why we're doing this today. Thank you guys so much for continuing to help us make our videos. Yes, and thanks for requesting this because we wanted to come in here for a long time. Yeah, it's been on our list for a while. It has. If anyone else out there is interested in joining our growing Patreon and unconventional community, we'll provide a link up there. We provide extra content and a private chat community for our patrons, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. We hope you'll consider joining us. Yes. And we'll also include the link in the description to our Patreon community. Perfect. All right, Amelia, let's head in and see some artwork. Yay! That is yeah. gorgeous. It is wow. It's a natural cut. It is stunning. What is that? Turquoise. Oh, I thought so. Yes. Wow. We're so excited to be here at Miguel Yeska's gallery. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. We've been wanting to come in here for so long and I'm glad we did. The artwork is incredibly beautiful and diverse. And we're here with his daughter, Micaela, and she's going to tell us more about the gallery. Yeah, okay. Thank you for coming, uh, first of all. Uh, this is the Miguel Yeska's art gallery. He's an Ecuadorian artist. Uh, he's an artist for 28 years, he's an autodidact artist and he has uh, different techniques. He uses uh, metal, wood, ceramics uh, and also stainless steel. He, ha he works in different series, uh, he makes paintings and sculptures with um, a marine subject. Also uh, he um, makes uh, something uh, Latin America tradition, mm -hmm. uh, like festivities, masks, uh, parades. Um, so this is all I, I can to tell you. Well, that was fantastic. And he makes jewelry too, ladies. <laughs> yeah, he makes jewelry, <laughs> um, some uh, mini sculptures like mm -hmm. totems. Oh, right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we've been enjoying all of it and we're going to show you more. Do you have a favorite piece of art? Yes, actually my favorite piece is the, the, this painting uh, because he mixes uh, the sculpture and the, the paint in, in one piece. Um, the colors are very, very warm and very, I don't know if it's the, the, the correct word, but uh, they are very warm and um, it is like a 3D uh, mm -hmm. effect. That's the reason why this is my, my favorite piece. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful and warm. I agree with you. Yeah, and it's, it is a, make, a mix of the minimalism and the, 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 the more traditional art. We love the sculptures. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Yes, of course. Um, this tree of here are special because they evoke uh, all the um, Latin American elements. Like I told you in uh, the last time, uh, the Latin American elements like um, musical instruments, uh, masks, and they, they have a special element, is something magic, uh, the wings. Oh, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. I love them. I love the wings. <laughs> I love the abstract pieces. Are they glass? No, actually no. It looks it look like, like glass. Yeah. Some people confuse and, and they have the same question. But it is metal. And he paints over the metal and make the, these effects. Wow. He uses chemical mixes and looks like this. That is amazing. And yeah. they're also different. Yeah, they are especially because the, the, the customers could put the, these paintings on horizontal, I don't know, horizontal, yeah. in this, mm -hmm. this sand or, or vertical oh, okay. way. And so they are very versatile, in Spanish is versatile the word, I don't know in English. Versatile. Yeah, so thank you. So very uh, new word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they are very, very beautiful and convenient for, yes. the, for the customers. Yeah, they are beautiful. 
I love how colorful everything is too. It's very happy. This gallery yeah. is very happy. Thank you. And, and the artist, uh, my dad, is um, a very, um, very, very happy person. Uh, you could see in yes. this, this space. Um, he is always looking for new techniques, new things. He isn't an, a quiet or calm mm -hmm. artist. He's very, very happy and he's always moving. Yes, he seems yeah. like he must have a lot of energy because it feels like there's a lot of positive energy and movement coming through all of these pieces. Yeah, yeah. thank you. There's also a room here for guest artists. How often do you have guest artists featured in your gallery? Yeah, um, this space is dedicated for the guest artists. So um, it's interesting because they always are uh, giving us a new, new colors, new techniques, and new people too. We, we, um, we like to make exhibits um, Four, four times of the year in the festivities of the city or Christmas or some something a special date for the artist who, who wants to, to come here. Wonderful, I can't wait to come back. Yeah, and we offer two music, live, live music, mm -hmm. and some food and wine. We, we have a very, very funny night. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. Unconventionals, we were just joined by the artist Miguel. Mucho gusto and thank you so much for sharing your incredible artwork and your vision with us and with Ecuador. Gracias, Amelie y JP. Estamos esperando su visita a Miguel Villescas Galería de Arte, donde va a disfrutar de algunas propuestas en diferentes técnicas y también la obra de algunos artistas invitados de la localidad y también del extranjero. Okay, we are always waiting for your visit uh, in Miguel Illescas Art Gallery where you could enjoy uh, a different techniques, art and propose and also the proposes about uh, different invited artists of the city and uh, the world. Thank you so much for the tour and for taking time out of your day to speak with us. We truly appreciate it. And Unconventionals, we will put a link to their website in the description below. We will see you at your next exhibition, and I have a feeling we're going to be back here a lot more often. Your artwork is incredibly. Muchas gracias, everyone. Ciao.